Hello and welcome to yet another game. This is... It's another Game Boy game. This is... This is... Oh yeah! The Minish Cap. I'm very excited to do this game. I think it's actually been... Um, seven years since I played this game last time so um, yeah I'm I'm really excited to do this I love this game it's a great game um, yeah I, I just I don't know I haven't been playing it for a very very long time I guess part of it is because I just find it very annoying to play on the actual Game Boy Advance so uh, yeah, I just... I don't know. It's hard to find a motivation. Let's get started. Oh, we get some story. A long, long time ago. When the world was on the verge of being swallowed by shadow. The tiny pickery appeared from the sky, bringing the hero of men a sword and a golden light. Ooh. With wisdom and courage, the hero drove out the darkness. Alright. When peace had been restored, the people enshrined that blade would care. Alrighty then. And I guess that's about it. For the story. Yeah. Short story, which is good. Oh, it's Zelda. Okay, where is she going? Hmm. I love this intro. Oh, good morning, Master Smith. Goodness me, Princess Zelda. Did you sneak out of the castle and come all this way alone? The minister is sure to be worried about you. You know how he gets. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Where's Link? The whole town is bustling for the annual annual Pinkery Festival. I thought he and I might go together. Would you mind terribly? Oh, is that what you're here for? Well, Link was up late helping me last night, and he's still asleep. Of course. But I do have an errand at the castle. Yes, that should be fine. Link, time to get up! So this is our house. And... I don't know if... It's Mas is Master Smith like our parent or something? I'm not quite sure. But yeah, here we are. This game obviously borrows a lot from... Um, Wind Waker, the style of it. But also a lot from uh, The Link to the Past, actually. Which I enjoy a lot. Oh! Hello. Hey Link. Princess Zelda's here. She'd like to know if you join her at the festival. Yeah Link, come on, let's go check out the festival together. Master Smith already gave me permission to take you. Well, isn't that nice? Yes, after all, the festival only comes once a year. Go on, have fun. And while you're there, you can do me a favor. I just finished making this sword for the minister at Hyrule Castle. I'd like you to deliver it to him. Oh, and we get the smith's sword. Make sure you don't lose this extremely important delivery. I guess I won't. This is the blade that will be presented to the winner of the competition. Don't lose it. And while the two of you may be childhood friends, remember, Zelda is the princess of Hyrule. You watch over her, don't let anything bad happen to her. Master Smith, quit worrying. He will perf he will Ow oh, my god. We'll be perfectly safe. Maybe I should just stop reading. Come on, Link, let's go check out the festival. And she leaves. Well. Tell this the princess of Hyrule. Yeah, I know. Yeah, he already said that. Let's go and grab this. Oh, 20 rupees. And I believe we can yeah, we can pick up pots here. We don't have have to have a power bracelet or anything to 
pick them up. So that's cool. Over here. Yay. But I wanna... You know, I want to ruin our garden first. Because... Uh, I don't know. No, wait. That's not yet. I, I thought you could find a, a uh, red rupee there, but that's for later. Let's go. I'm coming. I didn't get a chance to fix my hair, though. It's kind of messy. The town of Hyrule. That was close. And here is the Pickery Festival. Looks, looks pretty awesome. A lot of stuff to do. Here we are, Link. Doesn't it look fun? Come on, let's look around. Alright. So you basically just have to follow print, um, Zelda around, I guess. Link, there's a storyteller here. We should stop and listen to... Ooh, I wonder what's over there. Yeah. She can't keep her attention to anything. So the Pickery are real. My father always told me they were. Oh, look at that. Oh, come on, Zelda. Say, wasn't there going to be a sword fighting tournament at the castle? I wonder who won this year. Oh, wow, over here. Um, We have a winner. Okay. <laughs> oh my, Princess Zelda. You won the grand prize in our drawing. Wow! You get the choice of any of these wonderful prizes. What will it be? Oh, a heart piece. Or a heart container, even. We have a heart-shaped stone. Next, we have... This magnificent... Magnificent... Um... <laughs> I can't pronounce that. Magnificent gem. And finally, there's... The teeny tiny shield. Uh, Zelda, you should definitely get the uh, heart container there. Yeah, the Yule is good too. That's probably worth about a hundred rupees, so... What what are you doing? This shield is so adorable. I think I'll take it. What? Why? Why would you want that ugly thing? What about the heart stone? It's cute. Or, or this giant gem. It's pretty. Honestly, they're both much nicer than that nasty little shield thing. Nope, I want the shield. Can I have it? What a strange princess you are. Well... Okay, here's the tiny, teeny tiny shield. Wait, what? Here, I want to give you, give you a present. Doesn't this shield suit you perfectly? What do you mean by that? Princess Zelda gave you a small shield. Hold the button to protect yourself. It is a little embarrassing though. It's so tiny, that's kind of funny. But there we are, that's our shield for the game. At least for the most part of the game. Yes, I can. We have to take Master Smith's sword to the castle. Yeah. Let's do that then. I guess you could go around and talk to people and whatnot, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll do plenty of that later. So we're just gonna go. Let's hurry to the castle. Sure. Let's see, that's how you use the shield. Oh, a Dicker Shrub. Oh! That must be the business shrub I heard the soldiers talking about. They were saying a Deku shrub had been hassling all the pass passage. What did it say? <laughs> oh, this is a disaster. Well, I'll, I'll take care of this guy. Ow, ow, oh, come on. No, that's, what, that's how you do it. Forgive me, sir. I heard there was a festival, and I came to town hoping to hawk my wares. Unfortunately, we shrubs, uh, scrubs, have a tendency to spit nuts when we speak. Everyone got scared and ran away, and no one would buy anything. That that must be that must suck. <laughs> Can't open your mouth without spitting out a nut. Yeah, well, he didn't mean any harm, so you should feel sorry for him. Let's move on to the castle. Rolling is awesome in this game, by the way. And here we are. Oh, Link, you brought the sword, did you? Then, as minister to the kingdom of Hyrule, I, Poto, 
accept this blade. You came just in time. The award ceremony will begin soon. I'm sorry, Link, but I better go. I have to prepare for the ceremony. I had a good time at the festival. Thanks for coming with me. Oh, no problem. Since you're here, Link, why don't you join us for the award ceremony? Yeah, sure. Nothing bad will happen here, right? It's just an award ceremony. Do you know about the sword? No, I don't. It's called the Picory Blade, and it looks, uh, locks much evil away in that chest. The Picory Blade is sacred among the people of Hyrule. The legend has it that it long ago, uh, the Picory gave us this blade. Whoever wins the competition earns the honor of touching the sacred blade. Cool. Oh, and there's the king. With awesome music. Let the award ceremony commence. Vati, champion of the competition, you may ap uh, approach the blade. So that's the winner, huh? Looks kind of... Um... <laughs> Oh yeah, he's not a good person. <laughs> to think things would go this well. The Pickery Blade and the Bound Chest spoken of in Hy Hylian lore. God, this chest would hold that which I seek. I'll relieve you of this content now. Oh no, he was evil all along. <laughs> I love this song. Buddy's th theme, it's so awesome. As Victor, I've earned the right to approach the Picory Blade. I've been waiting for this moment. Oh yeah, and this is a different version of the same theme. It's really awesome. Oh no! We're just standing there. Well, I guess we don't have a... a sword anyway, so... Hmm, Zelda appeared to give off some mysterious force there. Why are you doing this? The princess who holds the power of light. That mysterious power is said to flow in the veins of every royal lady in your family ever since that day when it was gifted to your people. If I leave you now, you'll only cause me trouble later. That will never do. Uh oh, what is he going to do? To stone with you. Oh no! And she turns to stone. Aww. All who stand in my way shall share this fate. Now to find out what power awaits me in this chest. Huh? Empty? There was nothing in there but those monsters? What is the meaning of this? Well, I know the forest I'm after is somewhere out there. I mean, no hurry. I can take my time searching for it. <laughs> heh, heh, heh. I'm sorry about my terrible reading. Um, I'm new to this, so uh, I'll get better. I promise. Okay, so what happened? Oh, thank goodness, you're awakened. Master Smith is here as well. He's come to see His Majesty the King. Hmm. Oh. Oh, and there's Zelda. Oh, Link, you're awake. Are you feeling alright? Stand at my side, the King of Hyrule is about to speak. It is, as it is as you have all heard. A man named Body has cursed my fair Zelda and turned her to stone. If we had the sacred Picory Blade, we likely could have broken the curse. But Body shattered the blade. However, I have not given up hope. What do you know about the Picory? The Picory? You mean those thumb sized little imps from the fairy tales? Yes, the same. But the Picory are no mere legend. They most certainly exist. No one outside of the royal family knows the truth about them. The Picory, who forged the sacred blade, live deep within Minish Woods. Uh-huh. They should be able to repair the broken blade and reforge the sword. What? Then we must dispatch the soldiers there at once. No, soldiers will not do. The Picory do not show themselves to anyone but children. Our soldiers could search for days and still find no sign of them. Well, I see. If that's the case, then why not send Link? Oh, come on, I just want to go back to bed. If Link has recovered, recovered, then yes, I would like to ask this of him. Please, turn my precious Zelda back to normal. The Picory 
should know how to create a new sacred sword. It will be a dangerous journey now that those monsters have been freed. Please take this sword with you along with the broken pickery blade. And yeah, we get the broken pickery blade. Awesome. And we get a sword. Yay! Oh, so he's my grandfather. Well then. Deep within the Minish Woods, you will find a place called Deepwood Shrine. Once, humans and Pickery share that shrine as a meeting place. I think it would be, but it would be best if you started your search there. Take this map with you. If you get lost on your way to the forest, simply check your map. Just press start and then uh, L or R to open the map. Well, thank you for that. I'll mark the locations of the forest for you. Good luck and be careful. <coughs> you got a map of Hyrule. Awesome. And this is basically, basically the areas that we have seen right now, so far. Yeah, as always, people are counting on me. I'm just a normal guy. Anyway, let's leave. Oh, oh come on. I, I don't need you to break the fourth wall on me. Okay. There we go. That's how you speed up the text. Well, we have to uh, make our way to the woods then. Which uh, shouldn't be too hard, but... Yeah, it's been so long since I played this, I can't remember really exactly. I mean, I remember... Of course I remember most of the game, but like the details, I don't really really remember that well. Which is awesome. You got one rupee. So yeah, that's kind of why I wanted to do this now, because... I've been having the urge to play this game lately, and I kind of wanted to do it on... Uh, on screen because um, because it has been so long since I played it um, so you know there's a lot of things I'm gonna I'm not gonna remember and it'll be like playing the game all over again like you know like it was the first time I think and that would probably be kind of fun to do it on screen it's kind of what I need just take my time and play a game and relax Alright. Yeah, these guys, if you, if you don't kill them right away, that will happen. Of course, you might get a lot of rupees from them, but... So yeah, there's... Uh... Yeah, I definitely don't remember the details of this game. Eastern Hills. Let's check this house out. Nothing here. Alrighty. Um, no, we don't want to get down there. We want to continue here. Right. Oh my god. Get over here, you stupid moles. And uh, here we are. Hyrule Castle. Hyrule Town. Minish Woods. Awesome. So these are the Minish Woods. Very awesome place. I like the music too. The music in this game is also really good. I just think this game in general just, I don't, need, I don't know, it's really, really good. So we can't do anything about this right here, yet. That is something I'm really gonna have to look into, the, the whole Kinstone uh, trading stuff. That is just, yeah. But I'll get to all that in due time. So I'm gonna be running this alongside uh, Link's Awakening, so two Zelda games. Um, but I'd, I'm not quite sure which one I'm gonna focus on first. Perhaps I'm gonna just focus more on uh, Link's Awakening since... Uh, well, since that's the game I, I know better, so... What is this? Nothing. Hmm, seems like you can't really go anywhere from here. Help! What? 
What? What is that? What is that? Well, whatever it was, it wasn't dangerous, so we better go and uh, rescue it. It looks like a bird, but... Hey, kid, you there! Ow! Hey, don't just stand there, do something! What's wrong with you? Do you like watching me taking the, this abuse? Help me! Alright, I'll help you. Apparently you can't take care of yourself, so... Phew, well done. That was close. Not that I couldn't handle them myself. Oh, yeah, right. But that's beside the point. What in the world is a lone child doing so deep in the, in the woods? Oh, I see. The Picari, you say, and Vati? Vati's cursed someone. What, the sacred blade? Is that so? I see, I see. You know, you and I have quite a lot in common. You see, I too am on the quest to break the curse of Vadis. And you say that reforging the sacred blade can break this curse, eh? Well, then you have found yourself a companion, my boy. My boy. The name's Eslo. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Okay, well, let's, let's go then. First time Link ha has had a companion. Cool. Wait! Wait, I say! You walk so quickly, too quickly, in fact. Can't you go any slower? Surely you notice that I have no legs. Well, I'll, I'll try. Boy, take a good look at me. Do you really think I can walk that fast? Okay, well... Ah, uh, yeah, he's had enough. If it isn't one thing, it's another. You are a troublesome boy. Oh! Wait, that looks like... My hat! quite comfortable up here. More comfortable than it looks, surely. And much easier on me. Hey, quit your squirming. Can't you sit still? See, there. Yes, yes, that's it. Much better. Now, I suppose a boy like you still has much to learn about the world. If ever you need my insight, press select. I'll be happy to help. Yeah, it's our Navi. Basically, for this game. So, uh, enjoy that. Eslo's kind of goofy, but... Anyway, hold on for a moment, my boy. We've stumbled across something important. The world of the Minish is very small. You're far too big to meet them now. Huh? For the Minish? Ah, oh, yes, silly me. Allow me to explain. You humans call them Picori, but they refer to themselves as the Minish. Strange how in the world of humans only this forest has been kept the name. Anyhow, deep in the forest they built a tiny village where many now live. But if we're to enter the village, We'll, we'll have to make you touch smaller, uh, make you a touch smaller first. Look at that. At first glance, it appears to be a mere stump. Yes? No. That stump is a portal used by the people long ago to adjust their size. With my help, you can use it to shrink it down to minish size. Just stand on the stump and press R to shrink. To return to normal, stand next to the stump and press R. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So let's try it on. Let's try it out. Oh, look, we're tiny. And yeah, this is what, what it looks like to be minish size. Now, aren't you glad you saved me? No need to thank me, though. Portals that reduce your size are all around in different shapes and sizes. If you want to return to normal, stand next to a portal and press R. Yeah, okay. Mere puddles at your normal size are bottomless swamps to diminish. Yeah, so basically things that are no, you know, not of hazard to us. As normal is a hazard now, like this little uh, shallow water here. There you go. Yeah, they they make a make a lot of clever uses out of being, oh, minish size. So, oh come on, just let me on. There we go. And I guess we've reached our destination. Well, kind of. You have to go through these sections first. I love these sections, by the way. Uh, these zoomed in sections. They're really cool. But anyway, here is the Minish Village. And we will take a look around 
in the next episode. So see you then. Bye.